name is Belinda Perales. Gunsmoke, Bonanza, The Rifleman. These were all primetime shows from the 1950s, 60s, and 70s that typically had a cast of characters carrying guns by holster. Present day, June 13, 2015, newly elected Governor Greg Abbott signed into law House Bill 119, which allows Texas to open carry effective January 1, 2016. You can find this at www.gov. Dot Texas, dot gov. Every time you, what does this mean? Every time you walk into an establishment, you're in danger. Let me be clear. The open carry law does not distinguish between loaded and unloaded firearms. What happens when you walk into an establishment and you run into a person that has an open carry firearm? How do you react? Do you panic? How do your children react? We don't know until we're faced with that situation. And these are simple establishments such as a mall, a restaurant, our local grocery stores. Concealed weapons were probably the, the most practical way to carry a gun, a firearm. Nobody knew about it, and it was business as usual. The Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution reads, A well-regulated milita, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. You can find that at www.lawconnell.edu. Second Amendment. Although the Second Amendment states that we are allowed to bear arms, it's not clear to the open carry, and it's not clear to showboating a, a firearm as well. So what do we need to do? Take a sensible approach. And what do I mean by sensible approach? What makes sense for a dangerous situation where there's threats? For us to have our guns displayed for the assailant or the bad guy? Or for us to have concealed weapons where nobody knows that we're carrying the, the weapon? Your threat will not know. We, the population, need to stay within the boundaries of common sense. Truth be told, Texas became the 45th state for open carry. We should be furious at Governor Greg Abbott for the open carry law. All it did was enforce and make stronger the Second Amendment that was not clear. What's the point of open carry? It doesn't make the individual bulletproof, and many establishments have gun-free zones now. Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America is an is a organization that on their website posted Dozens of businesses, including thousands of locations across the state, will be exercising their right to prohibit individuals from openly carrying guns in their establishment. Basically, what they did was they went out and asked businesses to consider a gun-free zone. And that's what many businesses did. You can find the list of all these businesses at www. Dot momsdemandaction.org. We need to stand united when it comes to this situation. Penal code Tex Te Texas Penal Code 30.06 prohibits concealed weapons, and Penal Code Texas Penal Code 30.07 prohibits open carry. All these businesses that are prohibiting the gun care the gun the guns must post these on the outside of their establishment. They look very similar to these. This is 30.06, and the second one is 30.07, and these must be posted by law on the door, letting the open carry individual know that they are not allowed to bring in the guns, as well as it affected the concealed carry. You can find the Texas Penal Code at www.statutes.org legs.state.texas.us So we remain united. There's going to be very many businesses that will not allow open carry. So it'll be limited for those who want to open carry into a business. Gun-free zones are the safest for us and for our family. Note, 911 is not the, not the solution. You don't pick up the phone and call 911 because you're upset when you see someone with a gun. That's not the way to go. 
all cities should have online posted their open carry information. This information that I've post, pulled here is from the from www.houston.gov and it provides open carry information for the city. So gun gun owners do not do not need to be carrying their guns open carry. They're not law enforcement. It doesn't make them credible. As the final point, open carry has many uneasy. It's it's what's common sense for the population. Is this the kind of world we want to live in where people are toting around their guns in a holster? Recall that concealed carry was the safest and easiest way to carry a gun where it didn't create havoc or uneasiness for some individuals. As long as Texas has the open carry law and it's in its prime, we need to continue to educate establishments, letting them know that the best way to go is concealed, but as long as it's going to be a gun posting, a posted law, they're going to prohibit open carry and concealed carry. So remember that the Second Amendment gives the right, the people the right to bear arms, but we need to stay within the boundaries of our common sense for our children and for our children's children.